Hey everyone, I'm Crystal, and welcome to the Mood Collection After Party. So in my last post, I shared with you the influences and the inspiration that led me to creating the Mood Collection. And throughout that process, I learned a lot about myself as an artist. So one of the biggest lessons that I learned while creating the Mood Collection is that our spirituality and our creativity are divinely linked. Whenever you get an idea, understand that no idea just comes from the top of your head. That idea is coming through you and has chosen you for a very specific reason. But how many times have we diminished our ideas because we feel like we don't have what it takes to accomplish them or we don't have the resources to fulfill them? I emphasize this in video five more than enough. Everything that you need is already within you. We all have ideas that need to be expressed, but we interrupt that process with jealousy, comparisons, envy, self-doubt. When you make excuses for yourself, you're literally excusing yourself from your dreams. It's almost like excusing yourself from the table. And isn't that what you want? A seat at the table? So why would you then excuse yourself from it? When you spend quiet time with yourself, you give your brain the opportunity to be still and listen. Learning to listen to that voice within is actually a muscle. And when you start to exercise that muscle more, it becomes easier to use. And then you start trusting yourself more and that trust turns into self-confidence. There were times where I was so tired and I didn't think I had anything else left to say, but then an idea would come and that gave me momentum and that momentum turned into fuel to keep on going. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning into the Mood Collection After Party. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. I'll see you all in my next post. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my playlist. The Mood Collection is up on Spotify. This life without you.